Super Mario Maker 2 is a really good game, but it is home to a lot of trolls. So today I'm going to show you the top 10 trolls in Super Mario Maker 2. Alright, I got my mushroom. Now I think it's just gonna pull me back, right? Alright, do I need the mushroom? Oh yes I do. Alright, let's just hold on. Wait, what? Now I can't- Wait, what? Alright, let's try this again. So I got the mushroom, maybe- No, I need the mushroom. Alright, wait, I, I just let go of the controller. I'm still holding on. Wait, why am I still ducking? I let go of the control. It worked! I'm still big! If Mario holds down on this white semi-solid for more than 5 seconds in the Super Mario Bros. 3 theme, he will actually jump. Therefore, he loses his mushroom. And here I am in Mario Maker, I'm doing this on a white semi-solid in Super Mario Bros. 3, and you can see that he just jumped. Why does this happen, you may ask? Well, this is actually a reference to an old trick in Super Mario Bros. 3, where you duck under this white semi-solid platform, and then you actually go down to the background of the level. So, is there any way to avoid jumping? Because if there's not, then this is impossible. Well, actually, just let go of your controller, and boom, you'll stay ducked. This is a really good troll and could take people hours to figure it out. Alright, there's like little white blocks. Alright, alright, this is pretty easy. Wait, what? This is pretty simple, guys. Just put a note block on the deadly one and then put clouds on the safe ones. This next one's like a really big troll with these exclamation point blocks in 3D worlds. Yeah, basically just do something like this and Mario will automatically fall to the void. This next one involves 3D World Donut Blocks. Basically, you can go on them and they come down, but when they come back, you cannot jump over them, which could lead to a pretty big trolls. This next one is obviously the classic clear pipe troll. Basically, just put a wall over the clear pipe, and if you want to really troll them, make the clear pipe like really long. This next one is probably my favorite troll out of all of these. So I'm going in the door. Ooh, there's a bullet bill cannon. Let me just go in this door. Wait, what? This is about medium to set up. Basically, you can just create something like this. Thwomp on top, hitting the iron off switch, making the conveyor belt go the other way. And there's a multi mole with a bullet bill cannon. So the multi mole is running at you. And when you turn around, the thwomp activates the on and off block. So the, so the little conveyor belts switch over. And making the Monty Mogul come at you really, really fast. For this one, just place a thwomp and make it horizontal. And But you have to place it where people would think it's a vertical thwomp. So place it somewhere where people would think it would come down and squish them. But instead, it's going to come at them like that. Alright, here is another simple one. Basically, just make the Monty Mole thing again, and then you can make the Bullet Bill come at them, but there's actually another one you can do, and it's something like this, where you basically soft- well, you don't soft lock them because of the Bullet Bills. It is a pretty good troll. This is how it's set up. It's basically a double troll. I'll give you a little bit to look over it. By the way guys, yes, this technically does count as two of the trolls. Here we have the last troll of this video. It's basically a little on and off switch troll, well, which could confuse, not really. This one's mo one more that's on the weaker side. It's not that great of a troll. Um, it could be a troll, I don't know. It really sometimes couldn't. You just put a thwomp um, outside of Mario's view above him and an on and off switch. Um, yeah, if you want to do this, here's how you do it.